Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at now at adding and subtracting uh, positive and negative numbers. So as you know, our numbers can be positive or they can be negative, uh, which we may sometimes call minus numbers. So our positive numbers are bigger than zero and our negative numbers are less than zero. So sometimes we'll be asked to add or subtract these different types of numbers. And we've got a bit of a rule. So if I've got, um, say, five plus minus three. So that's the sum that we've got. Um, like I said, we've got a bit of a rule that will help us do this. So in the middle, we have a plus and a minus. So I'm gonna look at these two symbols here. If I have two symbols that are both pluses, then I can basically cross that out and replace it with a plus. So two pluses give a plus in that middle part. If I've got two, net, two minuses, so if I'm taking away a negative number, that also gives me a positive because my two negatives cancel out to give me a positive. As I've said in class, or will say in class, two wrongs do make a right. If my two symbols are different, so here you can see I've got a plus and a minus, or I might have a minus and a plus, so I might be plusing a negative number or taking away a positive number, I can replace these two symbols with negatives. So these are my four rules. So you can see here I've got a plus and a minus, so what I can do is I can replace that with a minus. So that becomes five minus three. And to solve that, I can either do it in my head or I've got a calculator here. So if I do five minus three, and that gives me my answer of two. Of course, what I could do is put this into the calculator straight off. So if I've got five plus minus three, I can do five plus minus three. Now, when I'm putting negative numbers into the calculator, I don't use this symbol. I actually use this one. So I've got five plus negative three. So that is the symbol for a negative number, a minus number. So five plus minus three. And again, that gives me two. So it's the same deal. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So if I have, let's say, 2 minus minus 8. Again, I'm looking at these two symbols in the middle. And here I've got two negatives. And two negatives make a positive. So I can replace those two symbols with a positive, which gives me 2 plus 8 which is 10. And again, I can pop that in a calculator if I want. So if I put in, I'm not gonna put two plus eight into a calculator, but I am gonna try and put this in. So just to show you how that negative symbol works again. So I've got two take away, so this is my take away, minus two. So two take away negative two. And you can see the symbols look slightly different on the screen. The negative symbol is slightly shorter. And of course the sum was actually two take away negative eight. There we go. So we've got 10. Okay. So if we have been asked to plus or minus negative numbers or a mix of negative and positive numbers, then we just follow these four rules here in order to do so.